quick shout out to Fame Juice. Check out his channel. He has ultimate awesome videos, especially on mod modifications on the PC. Check it out. So what's up? This is Mr. NYC. I just want to come up with this update video. And I uh, just want to let you know what Bethesda is up to uh, with the new updates. They're supposed to have a couple high-level updates coming December 4th and December 11th. They're supposed to fix some of these bugs, some of these game-breaking bugs, and some of the other glitches that they've been having. It still plays horrible. Um, so we'll, we'll see what those updates do for them. But it's just, you know, on top of that, they let the game go on sale two weeks after people bought it full price, you know, reserved it full price. It's absolutely crazy what they're doing. But, uh, you know, of course, they apologize for not being transparent and not communicating as much. Uh, you know, I, they really dropped the ball on this. So with the new update coming out December 4th, they're gonna increase the stash limit. Uh, it's supposed to go from 400 to 600, which is somewhat conservative, but they plan to increase the storage cap further once they verify that the change will not negatively impact the stability of the game. Uh, also, boss loot. Players should uh, excuse me, correctly receive two to three items after taking down a boss, depending on the creature's difficulty and level. Uh, another effect is they're going to be working on the Cryolator, the uh, the frozen gun. Players hit with that that gun are now chilled, frosted, or frozen, depending on how many times they're hit. The duration and the movement speed reductions applied by these effects have also been decreased from 2 hours to 30 seconds. Uh, responding when over encumbered. We resolved an issue affecting players who died while that happened. Only to allow them to be respond at Vault 76. Now they will be able to be respond at the nearest discovered map marker. So that that is pretty good. You traveled a long distance way and you're over, you know, encumbered. Then, instead of going back to Vault 76, you can go back to the nearest place where you died at. So, that's one good thing about that update. Uh, stuck in power armor. So, hopefully once that update comes out, you won't be stuck in power armor anymore. Uh, as for the December 11th update, they're supposed to have a variety of bug fixes as well as some new features. Uh, these new features include a way to better maintain your camp as a, well as a way to clear trees, rocks, and other things to make building your camp easier. So, you know, we'll see. Also, they're going to do a special respect. At your level 50, you'll be able to choose between a new perk card or moving a special point you have previously allocated. Uh, so that's pretty good. And I'm just going to add a couple more things. The camp placement and login. Your camp will no longer be automatically blueprinted and stored if someone is occupying your location when you log into the server. So you, you will receive a notification that your space is occupied if you decide to find a new home for your camp on that server. It will be free to do so. However, if you don't attempt to place down your camp, you will be able to switch to a new server where that spot is vacant and your camp will be fully assembled and waiting for you. And they're supposed to add a new feature to the camp, which is the bulldozer that will allow you to remove small trees and rocks and other obstructions so it's easier to create and place your camp. When and where you want it, you can also bulldozer to clear these items from the surrounding area to make your camp feel more like home. So, so that's about all I found out. Hopefully I'll find out some more news. Enjoy this video. Like and subscribe. You take care.